of Steamboat, we've got Alan Lay standing by. And Alan, you have some Music Fest as well as some Cowboy Up Balloon Glow details for us. Good morning to you. Good morning, Brittany. And it is a winter wonderland again here in Steamboat. And breathtaking views from the deck here at the Saddles Resort at the Steamboat Sheridan Resort Villas. The 38th Annual Music Fest did make its return to Steamboat this past week, and I was on hand to catch some of the action. Now, one thing you may not know about the Music Fest is that they have an open mic every day from 1230 to 2 p.m., where some of the best and brightest songwriters have an opportunity to share their works. Artists that may not be ready for the main stage bill just yet, but they get a chance to perform in front of a Music Fest audience, which is how many of the main stage acts of today got their start. I'll have a full recap on next week's show, including interviews with some Music Fest staff, as well as some of the artists that performed at the open mic. Coming up on Sunday, January 14th, is the Cowboy Up Balloon Glow, and it'll return to the base area at the Steamboat Resort, which serves as the precursor to the 49th annual Cowboy Downhill, which is Monday, January 15th. On the 15th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., festivities for the Cowboy Downhill include a Western celebration in Gondola Square, featuring 4-H farm animals, food and refreshments at Timber and Torch, a Learn to Rope clinic, and appearances by the Denver Broncos cheerleaders, as well as commemorative Cowboy Downhill logo wear and souvenirs. Then at 1 p.m., the main event, the Cowboy Downhill, which is a timed event slalom, immediately followed by the Stampede, which is a free-for-all. And as you can imagine, it's all the racers on the slope at once for a mad dash to the finish. The new Mahogany Ridge area opened as well this past week at Seamboat. The Mahogany Ridge Express Lift is now open, and you can gain access to this area via four access gates along Middle Rib off the top of Pony Express. As of this report, the Steamboat Resort has a mid-mountain base of 42 inches, and the summit base is at 65 inches. The Steamboat Resort offers skiing and riding on all 23 lifts, 173 runs, and 3,234 acres of packed powder. The Little Rodeo Terrain Park and Skeeter's Ice Rink are also open. Always go to Steamboat.com for the latest trail and lift information. Now, last week, I told you that Keller Williams returns to the Strings Musical Pavilion on Friday, January 12th, and I had a chance to catch up with Lib Diamond, Development and Marketing Director at Strings, to talk about the Keller Williams Show, along with the rest of the January calendar at Strings. We are at the Strings Festival of Music with Lib Diamond. How are you, Lib? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. And we've got some snow coming down. Oh, we do. Pretty excited about it. So Friday, uh, January 12th, we've got Keller Williams coming up. We do. We're very excited for his unique acoustic dance music. Um, we are expecting a sellout for this show, so if you're interested in getting tickets, recommend doing that pretty quickly. Uh, he'll be doing two 75-minute sets, which will be an awesome night. And next on the docket. Uh, next up, we have The Lone Bellow on Sunday, January 21st. Uh, they have opening support from Chris Jacobs. That's an Americana band, so expect big anthem sound. Tickets start at just $35. Um, same with Keller Williams, actually, so that should be a great night. Yeah, it's a great price point. Then we have Leftover Salmon. Oh, boy. Um, Pioneers in the Jam Band. That one is actually sold out. Okay. Um, but that should be a great night. That's January 26th. Uh, we do always try to get people in off the wait list. So if you are interested in attending, please contact the box office, and hopefully we can sneak you in. Excellent. And then you've got a show coming up in February as well. We do. On February 3rd, we have Lake Street Dives' Rachel Price playing with uh, Vilray Blair Bowles. So it should be really wonderful. A great way to kick off Valentine's Day a little mm -hmm. bit early. But yeah. So there you have it, folks. Stringsfestivalofmusic.com is the place to buy your tickets or right here at the Strings Festival Pavilion at the box office. Thank you, Lib. Thank you. Some fun shows coming up at Strings for sure. And it was recently announced that the organizers of the Steamboat Gravel Bike Race here in Steamboat have taken preliminary steps to correct some of the concerns that were brought to their attention through a couple of listening sessions with the community. I sat down with co-founder of the Race Amy Charity to address the message that Steamboat Gravel sent to participants and discuss what further steps they're taking to ensure the race continues in Route County with minimal disruption to daily life. We are here with Amy Charity from the Steamboat Gravel Race. How are you, Amy? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know, we saw the recent story from Shannon Lukens, Steamboat yes. Radio. Um, the community has been vocal that they're not fans of the Steamboat Gravel Race. I, I wouldn't say the community at large, but... Fair, yes. <laughs> fair. Yes. The, the vocal minority. Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, but you've taken steps to meet with them on three or four separate occasions, listen to their concerns, and have kind of come up with not 100%, you know, we're going to sway this way, but you're listening to their needs and have done a few things to kind of 
help with that. We definitely have. Yeah, it was brought to our attention after the race that there were some concerns out on the course and anything from congestion or it's hard for the rural community to get to certain places um, and also concerns on, um, you know, people not using porta potties or that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So that was brought to our attention after the event. And so our community relations director, Greer and myself met with members of the community to talk and understand a little bit about what those key concerns were. That's what we've been focused on. We have a team dedicated to that. And we really want to find a way to, to work together and make sure that this entire event is something very positive and, and welcomed throughout Route County. Some of the key things we've done is really taken a hard look at our routes and tried to find ways that one, we could eliminate that two-way traffic. And also, could we start our all of our races a little bit earlier to get people off of the busier roads mm -hmm. earlier? Um, others, if there, there's been talk of trash pickup and litter. And that is something that, that we've always taken seriously. And then on course porta potties, and that's mm -hmm. another action that we're taking. Um, but one that I think will go really far is messaging to our riders, being respectful of the community, making sure that they're using porta potties, making sure they don't litter, um, and riding, following the rules of the road. And mm -hmm. so all of those are really important that we make sure that our riders are, are doing that. And, and with that, we think we're really upholding our part to minimize that impact that we could potentially have on the community. Our goal is to be the event that, that people love throughout the county and that they want to be part of. And mm -hmm. that we have a, a positive impact in many different ways. And, way and we think we can get there. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time again, Amy. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. I applaud Amy and the entire Steamboat Gravel team for taking the initiative to not only listen, but to take action. Next week, I'll sit down with Brett Romick to get the rancher's perspective on the race. That's what's going on here in Steamboat Springs. Back to you in the studio, Brittany. Thanks so much, Alan. Those were some awesome updates. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You said some extra snow up to six to seven inches. Is that right? Well, I think we've got a shot of the stake and yeah, we've, we've got, yeah, there we go. Almost seven inches. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of all that new snow. I, it's just been totally windy down here in Denver. Has it been windy up there as well? You know, the, the champagne pow pow has been sticking. So <laughs> it's been a little little breezy, you know, to create some dust ups. Um, the roads are pretty nasty. So, you know, always plan ahead and make sure you give yourself a little extra time to get to your destination safely. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a winter wonderland, as I said at the top of the segment here. Folks are loving it. You know, the, the folks from Texas that I talked to are just absolutely in awe. And uh, it, it's been a great week here in Steamboat for sure. Oh, well, that's fantastic. I'm glad that you're chatting with some people and they're having such a great time. I hope you have a great rest of your day. It's stay warm in that awesome mountain TV gear there, Alan. <laughs> <laughs>